my name is Faith, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about hypomania. So let's start with what is it? It's commonly known as the hair pulling disorder, and it's classified as a mental disorder as well. So it's the reoccurring and irresistible urges to pull your hair from your scalp, eyebrows, and other areas of the body. Looking at this picture on the side, you can see that the most common place for trichotillomania to be presented is in the scalp. Eyelashes and eyebrows are another big chunk of the population. And as you can see, even pubic hair is on there, which can be kind of interesting and awkward. Um, causes, there is an unclear cause. Um, there's been lots of research done and it's not for sure what causes this, but like any other complex disorders, it could result from a combination of genetic and mental and environmental disorders um, and factors. A couple of risk factors are your family history, your age, stress, and within that comes OCD, depression, and the anxiety. So there's a couple different types of symptoms, such as obviously pulling out your hair. Um, there's an increase of tension before pulling hair and a sense of pleasure when hair is pulled. Um, there's noticeable hair loss, uh, shortening, thinning, balding on the scalp or other areas as well. Um, one symptom might be playing, biting, chewing, eating, or even rubbing the hair after it's pulled across your face. A couple symptoms that aren't as noticeable may be picking at the skin, biting nails, or even chewing their lips. A couple other objects that someone with trichotillomania might pull hair from is dolls, clothes, pets, blankets, or even other types of material. Diagnosis. Um, first, we're gonna examine the amount of hair loss. We're gonna be asking lots of questions concerning the hair loss within our patient. And we're gonna try and identify any physical or mental health problems that are possibly associated with this hair pulling. We're gonna use the diagnosis criteria in the DSM-5, which is just a book um, having lots of um, processes and criteria that we need to check off when diagnosing a patient. The treatment. There's limited treatment research and there's no FDA approved medications, but the doctor may prescribe antidepressants um, to go along with the anxiety and depression, which can help relieve the urge to pull their hair. There's lots of therapies offered to help with this, such as habit reversal training, cognitive therapy, and acceptance and commitment therapy, which just being in a support group for this can help relieve anxiety and tension within the body causing someone to pull hair. And as we see on the image, we can um, anxiety is a big chunk of what can cause this, along with um, situational stress. And prognosis and follow-up. So we want to encourage, encourage our patient to attend support groups or therapy, um, and to also keep a list of their symptoms and personal information, such as triggers, their stresses, and major life changes that may have an effect on their hair pulling. Um, they should also keep a list of the medications that they are currently on, and how their medications that we prescribe may be affecting them in the future, and just their day-to-day -day that can help us address and um, help them improve their lifestyle. And we could encourage them to meet with a dermato dermatologist to help um, heal the scarring and possible irritation of the skin that the pulling of their hairs may have caused. And if you guys have any more questions, you can come see me, or um, Mayo Clinic has always been a big help with learning all about different types of diseases. Thank you.